Hello everyone, thank you for joining me once again. It's Nick here and we're going to be playing a racing game which I tend to enjoy. These one, well, This one is Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing, published by Konami in 1994, at least in the UK. What control system should we have? Well, that one I just selected. Um, it's based around the 1992 season where Nigel Mansell won the World Championship in Formula 1 for uh, Williams. But next year he went into IndyCar in 1993 and won that as well. So this racing game's got lots of different modes, there's a full season, there's driving practice where you start off on low gears and then gradually get quicker each lap, but we'll jump straight in. It's a game I did own on the Commodore Amiga, but I haven't reviewed it on such yet, but there's all the tracks. You're versus 11 other real life drivers, and there's different weather and types of uh, uh, setup to do, but we'll just bowl in because that's the way we roll. So first one is South Africa from Kyle Army. There's Nigel Mansell Williams down the bottom of the screen there. You can change, um, well, we're on rookie, so it'll be on auto gears, but you can change your spoiler uh, for different downfall settings and your tyres for different grip, although the tyres will uh, uh, deteriorate and you'll lose grip if it's too soft. And there's the medium gear ratios and what have you. So first of all, we need to qualify. So here we are. The whole thing is not um, cockpit view, it's a chase view. A little bit like pole position, I suppose. So off we go, and it's running quite quickly. Now sometimes people say, Nick, this is running quicker than the game I played. Well, um, you know, we play it on the Genesis settings, so a slightly quicker uh, frame rate, so that is why, but uh, it's not bad for a racing game. They tend to play a little bit better like that as well, and gives me better full screen uh, resolution. So, whenever you're new to a Formula 1 game, it's just knowing how the car behaves, and this doesn't seem too badly, how quickly you can go around the corners, what the grip's like, because they do differ slightly from each other. Uh, Super Monaco Grand Prix is another one I've reviewed on the uh, Mega Drive, so check that one out as a comparison. Oh dear me. And also the sequel, and there's a formula, another Formula 1 game as well. So we're qualifying, you see the time ticking up there, 55 seconds. I think the title is 50 seconds. Six gears, on Rookie it's uh, well auto gears, but you can select it for manual if you want uh, a more challenging experience. But this is challenging enough for me at the moment. It's very arcadey in feel, and I am enjoying it so far. I seem to remember the Amiga version sounding a lot different to this. It was more whiny. I think it maybe took um, the real engine noises. This one isn't real engine noises. I think this is um, simulated. There is a sequel to this uh, as such. It's Nigel Mansell's like, IndyCar or something like that. But this one is Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing. Can we beat 50.66 seconds to get our position on the grid? Now, each team in this has only got one driver. In the real championship, it was two, but I don't think the Mega Drive could handle that many uh, racers. So, boom, 50.08. Is that pole position? I think it might be. Let's see. Did we get pole position? Straight to the race. I don't. It's a bit hard to know when to change your setup if you can't see the grid already, but we'll keep it as default. But we got it on high downforce. Well, that's better grip, at least. And we qualified second, so Gerhard Berger first, then Mansell, which is us, Schumacher, Alesi, Hakkinen, Suzuki, Komaz, Modena, Duchesris, Wenlinger, Martini, and Katiyama. Right, so it's pretty good on rookie. Uh, front row of the grid, it's all about your start. I think all the other cars actually in the race are the same colour, which is a bit odd, all yellow and green, a bit like the Benetton of the day. Now, in the 1992 season, uh, Nigel Mansell's teammate was Ricardo Patrese, who isn't in this game, and the Williams was so much stronger than anyone else, the biggest gap I've ever uh, seen when I've been watching Formula 1, and they, unless he was in a Williams, he had no chance of winning, because at some tracks, they were two seconds a lap quicker. Imagine that. Craziness, so Nigel Mansell had it all his own way. Uh, he drove mainly for Williams, although he did have a, a short uh, spell uh, with Alan Prost in the Ferrari, which they didn't really get on very well. Uh, this other team, I think there was another team he was with also, which temporarily I can't remember. But Williams is what he's more uh, renowned for. Um, historically, he would have won the championship a few years earlier, but we well, only need to come fourth, and he got a tyre blowout. Right, so this is a bit tricky with other cars on the track. The track seems quite narrow to overtake. You can make pit stops to change your tyres. 
but uh, probably in rookie mode you don't need to do that as much with the, tr with the race being so um, well short. I uh, see the map in the top left, you can glance at that. It plays quite well, but I think I prefer Super Monaco at the moment. Maybe this one will grow on me. But it's for what it's there, it's pretty good. I don't mind it, but I'm always a sucker for racing games. I can play them forever. But you, whoa, you need a bit. That graphic is quite cool, that animation. You do need a bit of skill uh, to get through. Uh, the, I do like the layout, uh, the font in the middle there, showing your position, the map on the top left, and your revs in the right with your gears. Uh, above the uh, gear numbers one to six, you see in the top right is your tyre wear. Uh, when all those drain to zero, you've practically got no grip at all. So it gets slightly more difficult each time. Uh, lap two, our position is six out of 11. Uh, the top six back in the day then scored points. So we're, we're going to have some points, but sixth place in a Williams isn't very good. Because as I say, normally they thrash absolutely everyone. I think there were times where they almost lap in the entire field. Yes, at time of recording, the 2019 Formula 1 season is about to start in a few weeks. Hopefully it's not a Mercedes dominant or a bit of a, a championship. Uh, Leclerc is with Vettel's teammate in Ferrari, so um, he had a great season first of all for Sauber, who have now become Alfa Romeo, so it'll be interesting to see uh, if those two are compatible with drivers. I think it might be a bit like when Alonso and Hamilton were in the same uh, team for McLaren, that didn't go very well, and a uh, battle of the ego, so I think that might happen there. Anyway, be good to see Ferrari near the front again, but, or will Hamilton win six championships? We will, interesting. Um, lap three, still position six, I need to improve my overtaking, let's do a pit stop. Uh, the, where's the pit crew? That was a waste of time, so uh, yeah, it wasn't necessary. Unless there's a button you can press. But anyway, that was a waste of time. So don't do not do that. I come in the pit stop. No one was there. Terrible, terrible team tactics. And that's put us down out of the points there, unsurprisingly. As we try and get past these two cars that look like Benetton's, but they're not Benetton's. I would have liked to have seen the racer's name above the car. Or maybe indication of who they are. Which would add a bit of extra um, play to it. A bit of invention. But it... Uh, I do like the car liveries better back in this era, uh, 1992 season, although this game came out in the UK at least, in 1994. Uh, my favourite car of all time, which I might have said in other Formula 1 um, commentaries, is the McLaren, that red and white. But it was only red and white like that, as I found out later on, because they were sponsored by the cigarette firm Marlboro, and that's the livery on their, uh, well usually the livery on their cigarette boxes, but now cigarette on tobacco, um, that's the end, uh, sponsorship is banned. They don't want to promote uh, smoking. So Ber Berger 1, uh, Schumacher 2nd, The Lazy 3rd, Hakkinen 4th, Suzuki 5th, De Cesare 6th, Comer 7th, uh, we come 8th, so that's no points for us, only the top 6 score. Uh, nowadays in Formula 1, the top 10 gets points. So there we go. So there's the championship so far. Berger and his McLaren, and we are 12th in the powerful Williams. Excellent. So all the cars look different there. They do tend to look different in qualifying. Why are they all the same colour in the actual race? Hmm. Right, so we'll do another we'll do another track. We'll do Mexico. Lots of straights there, so maybe you don't need too much downforce. But there's a bit of a twisty bit on the top right there. Mexico. Should we mess about with it? We've got high downforce, we don't probably need that. Uh, probably go to low, perhaps see how that goes, but the uh, the car might handle like um, our horse on roller skates, uh, but we'll soon see. Hard tyre, wet tyre. Soft has got the most grip, but it wears down the quickest, so in the last few laps it might not be quite as good. We'll stay on automatic gears. Red 5 is Nigel Mansell's number, and it's a number he pulled over to uh, IndyCars. I think he only did one season or two seasons, and then that was it for him. But it's quite dangerous, that Formula, or used to be. I'm getting really into Formula E at the moment. I don't know if you've been watching that. But they're exciting races. They're limited to 45 uh, minutes. It's good seeing those electric cars. And they've got, well, it's like watching a computer game, that. So check out Formula E uh, on the BBC when the next race is there. So Mexico. Uh, there's no, mm, it looks less detailed. The scenery there is, uh, it's a bit sparse, this one. Right, Okay. So, you know, they could have done maybe done a little better, but the gameplay is there. As I say, the track seems very, very narrow, but that might be our Formula 1 is anyway. Chase View. So I suppose you could say it's a little bit like an evolution of pole position or checkered flag or those ones. 
Good stuff. I think uh, it does remind me ever so slightly another Chase View game of F. Um, I think it's F117 by Team 17 or what F17. That had no license. I think this one does have a license through uh, Nigel Mansell. So check that out. Also, I think I might. That was a budget one. I think I might prefer that to how this one plays. To be honest with you. But I tend to like all Formula 1 games. Anyway, I would have got a bit of enjoyment out of this one. But I think there are better examples. But not to say this isn't bad. It's, it's quite good. But it, it ticks all the boxes, to be honest with you. I like the shading of the tyres as we're driving along. See that flash in there? So the light's coming off it. Don't want to do too many uh, wheel locks there. Because that will, will wear down your tyres uh, a bit. You can see on the top right there, four tyres all still looking good. But this is just qualifying, though. And that's going to cost me some time, I would have thought. See the other cars on the track there, going round. Um, I would have liked an option to drive other cars, not just the Williams. So I would like to an idea to get into the Ferrari. They could have, they could have done that, to be honest with you, but didn't. They just focused it totally on Nigel Mansell. Uh, I think Nigel did run race for a couple of races in McLaren. He'd retired and come back, and I think he did win a race actually there. Uh, McLaren's still in the doldrums. I said um, this has been recorded just before the 2019 season started. Hopefully McLaren will jump forward. I think they got the Renault engine this time, so hopefully things can go good. Or is it the Honda? No, they got rid of Honda. They're going for Renault. And a Red Bull, of course, they've ditched the Renault engine because they said that was unreliable. And they've risked in with Honda. So we'll see how Verstappen does uh, in the season. He could be um, Hamilton's biggest threat if Ferrari failed to deliver. But they certainly look quick in testing, Ferrari. But um, you, you've got to take that with a pinch of salt. You don't know what setups they're running, what fuel loads they're running. So we don't know. And everyone's trying to hide their cars a little bit. Oh, terrible start, Nick. Terrible start. Let's just see if I can get in the points this time. Seventh place. One place outside the points. That red arrow, I think, means where the points are, perhaps. I'm not quite sure. Maybe that means the race leader. There, that red arrow is the race leader. And uh, I've lost sight of the race leader. Seventh place. Sixth. Right, just keep it on the track. Don't crash into... Oh, don't do that. It's, oh, no. So I lost a couple of places there. Now, in the real life, if this had been an actual simulation rather than arcade, that would have been game over. And Nigel Mansell would have been walking slowly back to the pits. But this car takes no damage apart from the tyres. If you had this game back in the day, let me know on any system. I know it came out on the Amiga, as I mentioned. I'm not sure what else it came out on. But nice to see it on a variety of things. Uh, now, now I'm struggling to remember if I've reviewed it on the Spectrum or not. I'll have to check. Reviewed so many, I'm starting to forget. Or did it even come out on the Spectrum? I, I'm guessing it must have done. Yeah, I must. It must have. It must have done. Continental Circus, another Formula 1 game on the Spectrum. But there was quite a few. Right, a bit twisty through here. So this track, uh, Mexico, is, is straights and ones you have to ease off the accelerator around the bends. But for my first go on this version, at least, I'm quite pleased. Which makes me think, as a kid, would I have gone back to it? Yes, because I would have got slightly better. Not really hitting the apexes or taking the fastest lines here. But as soon as you get that, I think, as soon as you get into the lead uh, on rookie mode, you'll be actually thrashing everyone. Um, position six, I'll get past him. That fifth, let's get into the points there. You best to go. Oh, that was very wide. So lost a lot of time there, and the opponent got me on the inside. So don't drift wide. Try and take the racing lines if you can. Lap three, position six, and I think this is a free lap race from last time. 204 miles an hour. That's what this looks like, folks. So don't be fooled. This is definitely 204 miles an hour, not 30. Whoa. Oh dear, I'm not very good at those bits. But uh, a point would be good, that would be up from last time, but if I was a Williams driver I would get sacked after the first two races with this sort of performance. Frank Williams, the then owner, would not be pleased with this. Oh no, no one's going to come past me. Uh, I don't want to glance up at the map there and see what dots are behind me, because then I'll lose sight of the road. I think that's there as a tempter to um, make you go wrong. Under the bridge. As the Red Hot Chili Peppers once sang, but I'm not sure that song was about this game. Might have been a tie. No, it wasn't, was it? That's a great song, that Take me to the place I know. Take me all the way. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, YouTube a search of Red Hot Chili Peppers under the bridge. Great song. Right. Um, no, it wasn't three laps. It's four laps. Still in position six. Hanging on to a point. Uh, well, barely. Can we get fifth place? I don't know how far we're behind first place. Uh, a long way. They might have even finished by now. 
Oh man, there must be a way of doing this a lot quicker. Maybe I've got the wrong downforce here. I'm struggling around this bit. Come on. Dong, dang, 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 No Murray Walker commentary here. Uh, that was to happen on the PlayStation games. Uh, and then they ditched Murray. And, um, yeah, you can. I, think, I, I don't think the modern day uh, Formula One games have commentary, do they? Right. Sixth place, we got a point. Well, can't ask for that. That's gradual improvement. Now, as I said, uh, if you're not very good at racing games, there's a practice mode on this initially where you go around a track of your choice and it only gives you three gears, so it obviously limits your speed to learn the track. Uh, and then on the second lap you get another gear, the next lap you get another gear, and then you've got all the gears and then you gradually learn. So it's a good learning curve there, so you can get a bit better. It limits your speed. Berger wins again. He's, well, he's zipping along this championship. 20 points. Uh, Williams, one point. Hooray for us. Level with Tyrrell, which means we're not doing well. So many teams have gone bankrupt or it's not uh, possible to continue. Um, it's hard. I think that's why Formula E is getting so big. Although their budget is expanding each time, uh, Formula 1, you can only get one or two teams in contention for the championship. In Formula E, it seems like anyone uh, could potentially win, uh, or anyone of at least eight teams. It makes it exciting. Uh, the lead to the championship changes quite regularly, so uh, it's good to see. And rewards the best driver rather than just the best car. Right, um, this will be our last one. We've already got enough for a review, but I'm enjoying it so much. Like uh, Kid Kit Chaos we reviewed earlier on, I'll make it a bit longer. Right, see if we can get the points again. Um, yep, yeah, so the track's the same width. Um, the scenery uh, change in the distance, of course. The horizon graphics, as I like to call it. A little bit of undulation, which is good to see. Adds a bit of character to the game. I do like a bit of undulation. Best thing about this game, it's uh, fairly easy to the novice. Uh, you've got the Formula 1 license, all the proper racers. Uh, the engine sounds okay, uh, but not as good as the Amiga version. And the layout of this is quite good as well. You've got to like Nigel Mansell. If you're a new gamer though and don't know who Nigel Mansell is, then you might struggle to get in touch with this one. But any racing game retro fans will uh, like this one. Although, as I said before, my preference is the Super Monaco Grand Prix and its sequel, which gave you the extra tracks and it had the Ayrton Senna license. But a lot to choose from. It's good to see these Formula 1 games. Uh, the modern day games, the license seemed to be just uh, captured by one person uh, and then no one else have got a look in. Which, um, you know, that's what he likes about retro. There's more variety, there's more creativity, because the games generally didn't cost as much to uh, produce, so the risk was less. And they had more games coming out on a more regular basis. Um, the invention of a lot of games is gone now, but I do uh, look forward to Formula 1 games. Having said that, though, the last one I bought was on the PlayStation 3 uh, back in 2010. I think it was Formula 1, is it 2012 or something? Oh, so I am falling a bit behind the times now. Uh, I've got a PlayStation 4. Uh, the PlayStation 4 Pro is um, out there also for extended graphics, but I think uh, the next gen of Formula 1 games are going to be something quite special. So where did I qualify there? Pole position, do you think? I'm getting super good at this now. I was talking and qualifying at the same time. Oh, I thought I was going to get pole then, but I got third place. I should be doing better than I am doing. Maybe you need uh, manual gears to get that extra boost, but Berger, again, is dominating the championship. He's from Austria. He never won the World Championship. Uh, spent his career mainly at McLaren uh, and then Ferrari. And again, an awful start from Nick. Excellent. He's consistent. So we know it's going to be four laps. This will be our last race. So it's now or never. One suspects never. But uh, let's see if I can get into the points again. So I am sixth. As long as no one overtakes me, I can do two hit. Oh, that's unfair. Oh, that's unfair. How do I get past three people at the same time? If they're all on different areas of the track. I mean, they're hardly on the racing line, are they? That's impossible. If they're driving side by side all the way across, it's not like um, in a simulation you could probably get the cars under braking. Um, but here it's just arcade all the way. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is. See, that's, that's almost impossible, that. And now I've lost a position, I'm down to eighth place. Perhaps the tactics is to hold fire until they spread out a bit and then do your overtakings after lap one. Oh man, we touched tyres. Come on. Right, they pass him. Best to do on the straight. In seventh place, one point outside. We're not going to do a pit stop because we know the pit crew don't turn up. Uh, it's probably more laps on, on the greater difficulty modes where you do have to um, do pit stops. But uh, say rookie mode for the sake of this video and this review, to see how it plays, we're just doing, well, beginner stuff. 
I'm an absolute beginner. How did you know I was going to sing that? I'm so predictable. Right, sixth place. Can we get some more positions? It's not cars bundled up anymore. Oh. Oh, let's go away. Fifth. Oh, no. I thought I was going to get away with that. Don't know who this driver is. Looks like Michael Schumacher, but all the cars look like Benetton's in the race. Yeah, that is a bit of a weird one. Why do they look different in qualifying and not pulled over to the race? Is that a glitch of some description? Maybe. Frame rate is okay. Uh, it's playable. It does look like an old game, to be fair. But a Mega Drive or Genesis, I would have been uh, pretty pleased with this thing. Whoa, whoa. It's good to have a bit of variety in your racing games as well. I uh, reviewed quite a few so far on the Mega Drive. We're almost up to 50 games. And you know what that means. When we get to 50 games, we produce a, um, well, a roundup bid of all 50 with 30 second bits of gameplay when we rounding them up. Excellent. So that will happen at some point. Don't know when, because those videos take a bit of time to uh, do. But I think we're maybe just a video or a couple of videos off get hitting the 50. So it is in the pipeline. Hooray! If I ever get past this. I mean, position 4th. I didn't notice that. Position 4th. Can I get on the podium? We've got one lap after this. Oh, look, there's third and second there. Oh, man. Come on. Hey, that was a great overtaking place. So we're on the podium. Third place. Last lap. Don't do anything stupid, Nicky. Uh, as we know, I won't definitely won't do anything stupid. Oh, Ooh, that's close. Right, I held speed. Although I went off the track, I held speed quite well. No slipstream in this. Uh, no um, a boost button like they have in modern day Formula 1 to get past people. You need all your skills. No disturbed air tyre warning. Oh, God. Yeah, look at that. I'm down to my last tyre. But we won't pit stop here. Well, third place would be good. Second place would be better. I'll get out of the way. Oh, man. I can't get past this hood. Yes. Yes. Second place. Oh, man. Must be coming to the end now. Second place. Can we get first place? I can't see the red arrow of the man in front. This is exciting stuff. Even if I do say so myself. That's it. Second place. So gradually getting better. I think if I kept playing this all day, which I haven't got time for, I would win. Uh, so Berger first again. And he's still in championship. That never ever happened. Uh, Schumacher down there. Good. So at least we got points there. That's going to put us a bit higher up in the championship. I would have thought. Let's have a look. There we are. Celebrating. All with the same clothes on. Don't know which one. The Niger Mans. There we go. Team William Sonia, dominating drive from the best in the world. Right, so things are going good. Maybe I won't get sacked after all. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was Nigel Mansell's World Championship Racing on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. Published in the UK uh, in 1994. It might differ differentiate in other places. But yeah, if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, Mega Drive, or anything at all, then please put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.